Hey guys, it's Philippe and Brandon here from the drive with the guest visitor Victoria in the back. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, what would you do if you had $45,000 on your doorstep tomorrow morning um, in terms of cars. Um, you know, if somebody were to come to you and say, here's $45,000 free of charge, no taxes, no nothing, what would you do? What would you build? Would you stick to stock? Um, I think Brandon has a good idea of what he wants to do and he'll get off, get off, starting off early. Um, I'd probably have to go with um, an Evo. I'd probably buy one for like 35 and then throw $10,000 worth of shit into it. <laughs> Why an Evo? Because Evos are the best. We just had this conversation, STI though. Didn't I win? You did, this is true. Okay, okay I'll be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? How did you STI, he had a lot of good points, but go ahead. What would you do to the Evo? Um, Anything off the top of your head? Definitely, besides, you know, the obvious exhaust. Um, would you make it sound like an STI? No. <laughs> I'd, I'd purposely put unequal length headers. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I'd probably just stick with, like, the, the best parts that I could possibly get. Like, I'd do KW variant coilovers. Um... AMS parts, like for a front mount intercooler, okay, and exhaust and downpipe. So you definitely wouldn't keep it stock. We know that. No, hell so no. So thirty-five thousand plus a ten grand on the top. Yeah. All right, that's reliable. And that could probably kill anything less than eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> that, that's impressive. So. Well, they have that guy on YouTube with the nine nine hundred horsepower. Yeah. Evo. I'm pretty sure he has a lot more than ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah, definitely. But who says he bought it for thirty five? Maybe mom and dad owned a, a dealership. Yeah, that'd be hey, nice. Right? Never know. Uh, what would I do? I would go and find a very clean two forty Z shell. Okay, going back to my roots, currently own a uh, three hundred ZX turbo. Uh, I'd go back to a two forty Z and probably throw in an RB twenty six. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, Literally. I mean it's a, it's something that I've had it like in the back of my head for a while. I don't know how much it would cost. But I assume, like, if you were to do everything top of the line and, like, correctly... It'd probably be about that kind if of If not more. I mean, because depending, you know, if I was God-given fabricator, it would be a lot yeah. cheaper. But, but I'm not at this moment. Yeah, you're going to have so to pay someone to do that. Labor is a lot of the cost nowadays, yeah. let alone material. Uh, but, yeah, no, definitely throw an RB26 in it. That thing would sound beastly. Throw some yeah. coilovers. Get it to sit right. Some nice wheels. I mean, you've seen it before. It's yeah. possible. They're out there. Man. Yeah, and I'm sure there's some kind of you know like kit to facilitate the work. Um, so that's that's probably what I would jump into head first. What about you? If you had forty five thousand dollars. Yeah. What, what does Mustang do? girl have to a say? A nineteen seventy two Pontiac GTO. You're a Mustang freak. Why would you do a Pontiac? Oh wait. Um, okay, fine. <laughs> Are you Googling this right now? I forgot the year I like. Of what? GTOs. That's the year I'm in love with. Alright, whatever. If I didn't get the GCO, probably I'd go for a 2013 Shelby GT500. 2013. Okay. Um, if not that... Aren't those a little bit more than 45? Yes. So, okay. so, so you, if I could find one with mileage, it would be 45. <laughs> okay, Black so. Friday special? Yes. Uh, <laughs> If not that, I'd probably go Corolla for something drivers. practical, yeah, like a 2013 so. Super WRX STI, and then I'd still have money to do mods. Can you say that again? What would you get? I wasn't paying attention. A 2013 Super WRX STI. Okay. In the dark blue. Oh, Sedan. she knows the color. World, world, Sedan. Rally, world the Rally Blue. The hatches look like eggs. Hell no. And hatches then, are the way to go. Um, <laughs> and if I didn't do that, I'd get a Ford Raptor. So you got three I would agree. Options. I would agree with the Ford Raptor. I think those things are sick. Yes, but because I can't afford the gas when I fill that tank, because it's probably a 38 gallon tank. <laughs> Her dad just got an F-150 and she complains really? about filling it, yeah. It costs $95. Well, isn't a Ford Raptor like a supped up F-150? Yeah. Supped. Souped. Oh, it's all gone up and bought off. Well, what, it, like, what, do you know what's added to it? Olin suspension, uh, I think. Engine. Oh, all around. Yeah. Better brakes, more horsepower, better tune, different, slightly different interior. And stickers. It's, and yes, stickers. and stickers <laughs> that make it go faster. The only reason people actually see it and know it's a Raptor. And the grill, the whole front, front grill is different. It right. says Ford. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I agree with 
that. It, it is a nice truck, though. Oh, wait, I'd also probably think about uh, a 1970s Bronco. A Bronco. You've had a fetish for those things. Fetish. Okay. For those things for a while now. I love them. <laughs> we've, had, like, we've gone through like two or three of Yeah, but none of them have lasted the test of time. No, because we have any vehicle. Exactly. Found on road no, dead. No, no, no. We didn't get rid of them because they died. We got rid of them because we wanted something else. I heard that Fords now are coming out with this new thing where um, I think I've heard they get, where they give you a dog. A dog? A dog when you buy the car that way someone can walk with you when they <laughs> I heard they're doing a heated tailgate so that you can warm your hands as you push it home. <laughs> I mean Chevy's got the right idea. Chevy, you know, magnetic bumper. Magnetic. Pick up your parts as it falls. They have a magnetic bumper? I'm sure they do. That'd be, that'd be cool. I mean you gotta pick up the pieces of your rotted frame. <laughs> I hear you. I'd, I'd get a 60s GTO because that's the lifestyle I like. 60s? 60s. Big it? boxes, yeah. Alright, we'll throw a picture up for the. For or the Eleanor. Just, I would get I a Hyundai Veloc. Hyundai Veloc, yeah, there you go. Make a rear wheel drive, throw 500 to the wheels. Put the <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. That's hey. like the size of the car. That guy with the BRZ, he made his own dream come true, and he put a, fi a Coyote 5 out. I think it's turbocharged, too. I think it's got ridiculously like, power. Oh, Supercharged, turbocharged. That that would be an interesting discussion to have. Turbocharged or supercharged? How about twin charge it? Uh, the both worlds. Uh, now, how do I control this GoPro from my phone? I don't know. We can figure that out after, though. Alright, so we've got. We gotta edit this one. Evo. Evo. A tuned Evo. Tuned Evo. Riced out? <laughs> yeah, riced out. He's gonna have like a little pull hook on the back. <laughs> if you see this upside down, help. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm gonna have the 240Z with the RB26 swap. Probably turbo. Nice, so nice intercooler on the front of that. Why? And then you, you're gonna have a whole bunch of different stuff. We're not even gonna bother recapping that. I'm gonna have a crazy insurance policy. <laughs> yeah, that and a big ass garage. Uh, what would you guys get? Uh, 45000 I'd say is a considerable amount to toy around with. Um, if you buy it stock or if you buy it used or buy it old and build it up to your liking, what would you build? Uh, let us know in the comment area below. Uh, Brandon and I definitely enjoy reading that kind of thing. That we do. Yeah, and Victoria would, would be interested in seeing what you guys have to say about her uh, <laughs> array of choices, I guess you could call them. Uh, so yeah, let us know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.